Hi, it's Nick from Nail Control Lincoln, and you never guess what, I'm still here. That's it, I'm down to the final five now. This shenazzle just got real. Right, this week, sponsored by Cooper, 10 nails, they had to glow. They had to look as good in the daytime as they do at night time and vice versa. Now the great thing was we had pretty much free reign, um, had to work on tips. So my inspiration this week came from when I lived in London, um, a bit of a story, went out clubbing one night, um, got into this really, really trendy club. It was the era of grunge and Britpop. And if we wanted to go into the VIP area, we had to pay a little bit more money. So we did, we went into the VIP area, had an amazing time, I was so impressed. The, the, the walls were bare, they were covered with all this neon graffiti, there was a bar out there, they even had like an authentic street lamp. It was amazing, absolutely amazing, fantastic night. Anyway, when I got home in the early hours of the morning, I realised I'd left my jacket. So the following afternoon, I, um, I popped back to go and get it. Um, much to my surprise, when I went back, this uh, VIP room was actually just the alley at the back of <laughs> the back of the nightclub I paid an extra 15 quid to get in here and what it taught me was actually that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it is all about lighting and atmosphere so you can have a really good night in the back alley of a nightclub anyway here's my video I hope you like it catch you later I will be using Cooper and C&D products today for my set using acrylic powder I started building my wall brick by brick it was really important to get them in line and authentic to London brickwork. I cut my tips in half and then stuck them back together again to create this corrugated iron effect. Acrylic powders aren't just for building things with. You can use them to colour and to build up texture like I'm doing here too. Here I'm just finishing the fine details with a little bit of C&D shellac. On a sheet of acrylic, I'm going to mark out my flagstones with a pencil and then build them up square by square using Cooper acrylic powders. Give these flagstones an even more 3D effect. I'm going over with some black acrylic powder and then some luminous green acrylic powder that will show up in the UV light later on. In between the cracks, I'm going over here with a little bit of gel polish and then to fluff it up, a little bit of clear acrylic powder which I then cured in the lamp. Now I'm going to crack on with my drain pipe which I've made using Cooper gel. For this I used a cling film covered straw which I then covered with two or three coats of gel. For the end of the drain pipe I used a little bit of blue tack that was covered in cling film as a mould. After painting my drain pipe with acrylic powders I then took my e-file with a ceramic bit to make these little holes like it's rusted away. Now for a little bit of graffiti by that famous street artist, Binksky. Not to be confused with Banksy due to copyright. Your artwork can go a little fluffy if you're painting in gel polish on top of acrylic. You may find it easier if you put a coat of matte gel top coat on first. It'll be far smoother. Now to make this graffiti pop, by getting some top coat and some neon pigments together, you can go over your white gel polish and it's going to look great under a UV light. Just picking up my copy of Next Top Nail Artist News. What's on the front page today? Shocker, Brit still in. For my lamppost, I used a straw as a base. I then covered this with Cooper's fast setting white acrylic. I refined my shape using an e-file and finished with CND shellac. Then threaded my LED light through the center. This is a really great trick if you need to create a dome of gel. I've used cotton wool here as a base, wrapped it in cling film and then a couple of coats of gel. 
when it goes hard, you can actually just pull the cotton wool out and it will leave you with a glass dome. And would it even be a challenge if we don't use a CND form? Now to make a chippy dinner. I'll just leave this here for the pigeons. Using my e-file, I took a small notch out the back of the drain pipe for my fibre optics. Definitely worth a £15 entry fee. 